So today we have a small abbreviated shotgun video. Not like our normal shotgun day, but this kind of information can't wait. Some of you want shotguns that are shorter than normal, but you don't want to pay the $200 transfer. You don't even want to pay the $5 transfer. For a matter of fact, some of you don't even want it to be an NFA firearm to begin with. You want to purchase it, you want the short barrel, you want to pay for it, and you want to be able to walk out the door with it. I found a couple options for you. Now my partner in crime for the day is my friend Hunter. Hunter, come on over, bud. Now, Hunter has said numerous times, hey, if there's anything I can ever do to help you at work, just call. And I've heard that from a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of viewers, a lot of you have said, hey, let me know if you need some, you know, some help out at the range shooting all those guns. I always figured that Hunter and you were just being polite. Nobody wants to come out here and do this. It's noisy and, and it smells like gunpowder and, you know, so today I hit him up thinking, aha, I'm going to catch him. And here he is. He came out to shoot with me anyway. So thanks, Hunter. I appreciate it. Hey, thank you. No sweat, man. Lots of fun. So a shotgun, a regular old Title I shotgun, has to have a criteria that it meets. This one happens to meet that criteria. It's got an 18-inch barrel, and it's got an overall length over 26 inches. That makes it a regular old shoulder-fired shotgun. This is something that you can go into a gun shop, give them your cash, fill out your sheet, and take home right away. But it would look awful cool if the barrel was a little bit shorter. Like this one. This is another pump with a folding stock, but the barrel is brought all the way down to the end of the magazine. I think it's 13 inches. This one doesn't have an 18-inch barrel, so it is an NFA firearm. It's a shotgun because it's made to be fired from the shoulder, so it's a short-barreled shotgun. For this particular one, you've got a $200 transfer fee and all of the normal NFA paperwork. Or this one. This particular gun has an 8-inch barrel. I believe it does. If it doesn't, I'll have the right number down here on the screen. So this is also shoulder fired with a barrel that's well under 18 inches. It's also a short barreled shotgun. This particular one is made by Hurricane Butterfly Research. Very cool little mag fed pump. If you like shorter shotguns, but also don't want to go the NFA route and want the ability to fire it from the shoulder, we're using the DDI Puma, the bullpup. Now this is really short. As a matter of fact, it's shorter than the short-barreled shotgun from Hurricane Butterfly. But it's deceiving because it has a 20-inch barrel. The barrel comes all the way back to the ejection port. So there's no short barrel issue to deal with. It is fired from the shoulder, but because it's over 26 inches in length, Still just a standard Title I firearm, a regular shotgun, cash and carry. So the easiest way to sum up whether you're purchasing a short barrel shotgun for a $200 transfer or an AOW for a $5 transfer, the easiest route is to determine whether it was intended to be fired from the shoulder or not. If this particular H&R uh, if you cut yours down and registered it as a short barrel shotgun, it would transfer on a $200 tax because it left the factory intended to be fired from the shoulder. It left as a shotgun. So when you cut it, it's going to be a short barrel shotgun. This one particular gun that was made by Serbu Firearms actually left the factory with no stock. It wasn't, it left as a firearm, not a shotgun. So when it was registered, it was registered as an AOW. So it only transfers on a $5 stamp. Pretty rare piece. Not many of them left as just a receiver.
So let's say that you want something with a short barrel, you want a shotgun, and you don't want the 18 inch barrel on it. You want something a little bit shorter that makes sense. But you still would rather not have an NFA firearm. Whether it be a $5 or a $200 fee, we'll say it's the paperwork that you don't like. It's the, the, the long wait time and the permission that kind of grinds you the wrong way. You've got options there too. You can get the Shockwave. Now this particular gun, this particular one is a Remington 870. This, based on the Mossberg 500, has a 14 inch barrel. It's not made to be fired from the shoulder. And with this particular grip, it's over 26 inches in length. And it was shipped from the factory without a shoulder stock. So again, kind of going back to the AOW thing, if it left the factory as a shotgun, and you cut the barrel, it would be a short barrel shotgun. When it left the factory as a firearm, there's no shotgun to be a short barrel. Now the really cool thing about these is, because it's over 26 inches in length, it doesn't meet the criteria of an NFA firearm. So this, and this, is just a standard Title I firearm. It's not considered a pistol, it's not considered a short barreled shotgun, obviously not a rifle, it is just a firearm, and it's treated just like any other firearm. So it was Adam's idea to bring these out on video today. Adam is one of my uh, cohorts, one of my partners in crime from Freedom Fighters, and uh, he owns A&G Shooting and Supply. Uh, that's my local shop. Everybody's got their own local dealer. Adam's my local dealer, and they're right here in Fairfield, Maine. And he keeps these things in stock, and that's why we thought that it might be nice to bring them out and introduce them to you. So it's exciting to see the industry paying attention to the shotgun market because shotguns have always been a favorite of mine and, and it's expanded several fold over the last few decades. Um, a few of the newer products that we're working with today, uh, one of them is called the Go Gauge and it is a, a, a new follower for a tube fed shotgun that has LED lights embedded in it. When the last round is fired, the LED lights start to flash for, I'd have to time it, I'm going to say about 10 seconds, but it actually lights up the magazine for you very dimly. It's not going to light you like a candle at night, but it is going to allow you to do a, a reload with no visibility otherwise. Pitch dark, you can do a reload really fast, and it will probably help in a high stress situation as well. We have it in a Remington Model 870. It'll also fit the Mossberg 500 or, or most of the popular tube-fed 12-gauge shotguns. One of the other sites we're using today is the Red Ring Shotgun site. And, and that's an interesting site that we've been using for a long time, uh, but we thought we'd bring it back out into your attention today as well. It mounts on the rib of a shotgun, on a vent rib, because originally for, for the overseas market, they manufactured it for sporting shotguns, particularly for skeet and clay shooting. Um, so they're obviously not going to have a, a Picatinny rail type mount for that type of shotgun, so it mounts on the vent rib, which opens it up to a whole new market. Now it's a circle on the inside, a broken circle, and it has a meter on it, and it always measures the ambient light around your target. So if, if it's a dark day, it's going to dim the circle for you so it doesn't flare out. If it's a really bright day, the circle is going to be really bright so it's not lost in the excessive light. And you might have noticed on a couple of these shotguns, we're still using the Sightmark Reflex Sight, doing our best to put everything that has excessive recoil underneath it, and uh, it's still going strong. Another shotgun accessory I'm stoked to get out here at the range, but I don't have one today, is the Opsol, O-P-S-O-L mini clip. And it adapts these pump shotguns to allow us to utilize those little Aguila mini shells. We've needed something like that for a long time. How cool would it be to have something like one of these short tube fed guns and not be restricted to only two or three rounds, but to be able to stack three or four or five or six slugs in that and give it its normal magazine capacity. Or even a gun that typically holds nine rounds, I don't know how many mini shells that equates, but it's more, and more is definitely better. So as soon as we get one in, we'll bring it out to the range and, and uh, we'll learn about it together. So that's our abbreviated shotgun video for the day. Not too much detail, not too much time. It's not really shotgun day. We've got that coming up very soon. But we wanted to talk to you a little bit about the difference between AOWs, any other weapon, short barrel shotguns, regular old Title I shotguns, and guns that are not even shotguns at all, just firearms.
So I hope you enjoyed the short video and found it beneficial. It's, it's nice to be able to have options. If you did, please click like, share us with your friends in your vast social media universe, subscribe to the channel if you don't already, and make sure you hit notify so they let you know when we upload a new video. Check us out over on our new Patreon community. That's a new growing project and it's becoming an awful lot of fun. And find us over on Facebook at facebook.com slash guntestvids. Until next time, have fun and be safe. Thanks, Hunter. No problem. Appreciate it.